This Sunday evening we begin the holiday of Sukkot, the seven days of Sukkot. And of all of our Jewish holidays throughout the course of the year, Sukkot is the only one that is known as Zman Simchatenu, the season of our joy and the season of our happiness. We just completed the most intensive introspective day of the entire year, looking within on Yom Kippur, and now hoping and believing that we begin the new year, the new year with a clean slate. That in itself brings us joy. But from the most introspective, we now go outdoors, outside and feel the beauty of God's creation of nature, especially within the sukkahs we're standing at this moment. Uh, this is also an agricultural holiday in Israel. It's a harvest holiday. And so harvesting all that has been growing during the course of the summer. Actually, our American Thanksgiving is based on our holiday of Sukkot. And in our own lives, we can think about all the work that we've done, all of the planting, in a sense, that we've done, and how we can now enjoy the harvest of all of our own work. Along with the Sukkah, of course, we have the Arba'a Minim, the four species of the Lulav and the Etrog. So Cantor Annalise will explain a bit more about the meaning of the four species and then how we wave them on this holiday. Okay, so in my hand here we have the four species themselves. We have inside the palm leaves and when you hold on to your leaves you want the palm spine, the pointy part, to face you. We have the Adasim, the myrtle leaves which are short and round and we have the Aravot which are the myrtle leaves which are the long thin ones and after saying the blessing for the lulav, which ends in al natilat lulav, you take your etrog and you bring your stem down and this top part is called a pitom. You want to have that facing up. And with all four parts, you're going to shake them all across, all around, as a, as a way to represent that God is with us no matter where we are. So what we do is we do three shakes in every direction. So we do a shake in front, one, two, three, we do a shake to our right, one, two, three. A shake to the back, one, two, three. Shake to the left, one, two, three. Shake above us, one, two, three. And a shake below us, one, two, three. Standing outside of our sukkah that was recently erected thanks to our men's club, it'll be decorated by the kids at our Hebrew school and our early learning center and we'll be enjoying it through all of the days of Sukkot. And now Cantor Annalise will chant one of the traditional Sukkot melodies by which we wave the Arba Abinim, the Lulav, and the Etro. <laughs> Chag Sameach. Chag Sameach. Have a great Sukkot.